Hey everyone, quick back chemistry basics here. Let's talk about recent Nobel Prize given in Physiology and Medicine 2019 on how cells sense and adapt to oxygen availability. During 1770s, scientists discovered that one-fourth of the volume of air was composed of oxygen. Oxygen is vital for animal life and plays a very important role in oxidation reaction and generation of ATP in the cells. In case of humans, it has been seen that as one moves at high altitude, the oxygen levels in the blood decreases. This is because at high altitude, the air becomes thin and the oxygen in the air also decreases. Now when the oxygen level in the blood decreases, this decrease in oxygen is sensed by specialized cells in the kidneys that makes erythropoietin. This in turn increases the synthesis of RBCs in the bone marrow. The increase in the number of RBCs helps to cope up with decreased level of oxygen in the atmosphere. Now here comes a very important question. How does the cell know that the levels of oxygen have increased or decreased? To answer this question, researchers exposed animal cells to various levels of oxygen and they found that the expression or transcription of many genes changes when the oxygen level changes. Now for those of you who are not in biology, just remember genes or the DNA has all the information about which proteins are to be made by the cells. Transcription is a process in which information in the DNA is passed to RNA which is further used to make proteins. And the transcription of genes in eukaryotes is controlled by the proteins known as the transcription factors. And the cells can have many such transcription factors to control the expression of the gene. Transcription factors switch on or switch off the genes when required. In short, they make sure that the genes are expressed in right time, in right cell and in the required amount. Now to solve the mystery of how cells know that the levels of oxygen have increased or decreased, the Nobel laureates William, Peter and Greg started searching for the transcription factor that regulates the expression of erythropoietin in low levels of oxygen. They discovered a transcription factor called HIF, hypoxia inducible factor. This transcription factor has a role in increasing the expression of EPO gene which makes erythropoietin. Further experiments suggested that when oxygen levels are high, the alpha subunit of HIF gets hydroxylated. This hydroxylation occurs on the proline residues in the alpha subunit. The hydroxylated alpha subunit is recognized by protein VHL, which finally causes proteosomal degradation.